Hello, my name is Luis Borrera and this is for my electromechanical systems class. This here is a board with a resistor already attached to it. You can see there's two sides to this board, which we will be using along with the third one actually. But this side is important because this is where I want to put a power source, which will run through all of the squares and into the resistor, which will then jump the, the current onto this side of the board. We'll all be constructing a circuit which will lead to an LED light, an LDR. This is the LDR, which I'll be placing right over here. To make sure it does grasp the holes in order for it not to fall. To connect these two, I'll be using a jumper cable. You can see the resistor and the LDR right there. So I'm gonna put the jumper cable right beneath one of the legs of the resistor and above one of the legs of the LDR. They have to be in a vertical line in order for this system to work. If not, the current won't be passing to the LDR. Now, I'll be placing the LED light, which must be noted, unlike the LDR, has a positive and a negative side to it. The positive one must be facing the current because it can only, it can take it. If the negative one receives a current, the LED light will be fried. So anyway, for that not to happen, I'll be placing it like this. And just as before, I'll be using another jumper cable to pass the current from the resistor to the LED light. And it goes right through here. Hold on, there we go. I got it. Now, the whole circuit is finished, save for a power source, which will power both the LED and the LDR on. For the first test, I'll be using two double A batteries actually, in a series format, in order to get the maximum current running through them. Now connect these two over here, and as you can see, the LED light has powered on. Now in order to control the LED lights, because right now it's receiving a lot of current and the LDR isn't. So in order to change that to lower the resistance of the LDR, we can use a light source, which I'll be using to place it over the LDR, causing the LED, as you may see, to power off. And so on. Now to get with the project, I'll be using the Arduino device I have right here. As you may be able to see, it has a ground and a five volt uh, system thing, which I'll be using to place over here to make sure do they go directly where they have to be. The ground being the lower portion of it, I'll be placing the ground cable right on the negative side. And the five volts on the positive side in order to power the whole thing up. Now it has no power yet. So for that, now to work, I have to put a nine volt battery, but since it's a nine volt output, it's gonna be only five volts going in. There we go. As you can see, it also works. And just as before, we're gonna test it with the light. The LDR is now controlling the LED or its own resistance by that means. All right, now for the final test, I'll be using another jumper cable, but this time for the computer. This one I'll be connecting to my computer, which is off camera, cause it's too far away. Well, not that far, but I'm not risking with the camera now. There we go. As you may be able to see, the thing still powers on, which means it works. That's great. Now to test it with the light, as you maybe will see, we have the same results if it wasn't for my shaking hand. There we go. And let me just find it one day, maybe tomorrow. There we go. Uh, let me just get it. There we go. Okay, you just keep it steady. You can see it powers off. And there we go. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.